second tool on the H5P platform, which is called as Drag the Words. So now again, I will click on login because I already have my account. I'll just show you uh, one sample of Drag the Words. So I'll click on view all and I have one game here titled Universe Drag the Words. Now you can see there are empty spaces and the child has to drag these words into correct boxes. It is typed as universe to show that the child that he is a part of the universe. This is a topic in geography which talks about the solar system and the nine planets. Now the child's task is to drag the words into the right boxes. So he begins. There are, so he probably says nine planets in the solar system. Which is the smallest planet? Maybe he's confused and he puts earth. The dust on Mars is made up of iron oxides. Jupiter is the okay biggest planet. And finally, there is life on planet Mercury. Let's see now how many answers he has got right. Well, he comes to know that Earth and Mercury are incorrect. He can either choose to see the solution or he can retry. And probably the second time then, he will do it right. Nine planets in the solar system. Mercury is the smallest planet. Dust on Mars is made up of iron oxides. Jupiter is the biggest planet. And there is life on planet Earth. And he checks and he says, okay, fine, I've got all right. So let us now see how to prepare this tool. You go to my account. Come to try out H5P. Click on it. The toolbar will open up. And I will type here, drag the words. Now it's showing there because I had recently used it. So I say drag the words and I click on it. Now you can see a window has opened up and I come first to the title. So I say verb tenses and I say dash drag the words because I must always mention the tool name. Now don't do anything for task description because this task description is always fixed and it says drag the words into the correct boxes. Now I have to come to the text. I have to do two things. First, I have to keep the paragraph that I want ready on my desktop. The second thing is I have to put small asterisks before and after my right answers. So I select my paragraph. I say copy and I come to my drag the word text box and I say control V. Okay, or I can do a paste. Now, the minute I do this, my next step is to put an asterisk before and after every verb tense. So, before was and after watching. The next sentence, have been working. You will see, my dear teachers, that in mark the words, I could only take a single word with no spaces in between. But drag the words allows me to drag phase phrases. Intent. Next one would be loves to travel. So loves. Has been going is another verb tense. Plans. Only the word plans. Then I go down. Has been writing. As written in the same line. Let's do it a bit faster. Were. Was waiting. We'll take only some verbs teachers because it will take a long time and we are running short on time. So was waiting and in the last sentence bake leave and skipped. Oh, let's go to the last one. Okay, there's one more sentence. So, has prepared. Has prepared. Let's not mark too many words because we're short on time. 
has prepared is bringing and in the last one were doing and now i proceed now i come down to the overall feedback and the score range now in the overall feedback and score range i click on add range once add range twice add range again you see that i have got four subdivisions and i say distribute evenly for the first one maybe i'll say average for the second one i'll say good for the third one i can say very good and for the fourth one i can say brilliant now i go to behavioral settings and here i will enable retry so that the child can try it as many times as he wants i will also enable show solution button and instant feedback when the child wants a feedback to see his right answers and i click on save now it has loaded and you can see my paragraph here with the sentences and these on the right so i say when carol called last night i i can say was waiting i can say was watching okay then i dash for this company for more than 30 years so i have been working for this company more than 30 years and i maybe intend to stay here until i retire sharon loves to travel she has been going abroad almost every summer and next year she plans to go to peru okay but now till i complete it i cannot see my answer so thomas is an author who has been writing altogether he has written v something because we had car problems so we were late it should have been only were teachers i'm so sorry but now i'll put it in as we were late that's why we have to be very careful when we are putting our asterisk by the time we got to the train susan was waiting for us for more than 2 hours every day i wake up at 6 and leave for work at 8 this morning i got up whatever i skipped breakfast and left for work and i'm purposely going to put two wrong so right now jim is bringing dinner sandra has prepared the children to bed and last night at this time they were doing the same thing now because i said show answers instantly it is already showing the solution here if i had not clicked on show answers instantly i would have to wait till i clicked on check here and then only it would have shown me the answer you can see the uh, remark which i posted in for that particular score has also appeared over here so if i want to change something i will go to edit i will come to edit and i had certain mistakes here if you remember i had put my asterisk in were late in a wrong place so i can change it and i can put the asterisk here and i can remove the asterisk from there i can also change the setting where i said instant feedback so i will not show instant feedback and now maybe i can say save and now if i look at it again dear teachers i will see that after the child chooses the right words he will get the check option check option means to say that now he will see his right answers his scores and the option of looking at the solution if i had said see answers instantly you saw what happened the last time and immediately the answers already showed up so this is another wonderful tool now how do i share this tool i will go back to my account i will now say verb tenses drag the words bring my cursor over it right click say copy link address and i can paste it directly in my google classroom the child can view it he can do it for homework even 
uh, once he sees my link, it will bring him directly to my H5P page. But he cannot download his work, which means I cannot use this kind of a game for grading and assessment. Or the other alternative is he will complete the task, he will take a pic of it, and he can upload the image of that homework on the Google Classroom. So this was the second tool of uh, drag the words. Drag the words can also be used for any other subject like science where I'm asking them to pick up all the names of metals and non-metals in the paragraph. I could use it for elements and compounds. I could use it in history for names of forts or rulers. It can be used for almost any subject. 